This is my first attempt at making bread. And, as you know, I don't like to do anything in cooking unless it's creative, and it's fun, and it's easy to do. Well, I'm happy to report that, in spite of the errors, I enjoyed making this bread. Keep in mind that the idea was to make it in such a way that you could duplicate my efforts, except that, of course, you'll do much better using the stuff utensils that you already have. Okay, let's get started. As you can tell, there are only four ingredients, really. Flour, yeast, salt, and a liquid. First of all, I started with one cup of bread flour. That was it. As you can tell, it is not all that exacting, is it? Into a bowl it went. I added one teaspoon of salt. Now here perhaps I should have added more. I also added one eighth of a teaspoon of yeast. Now I will tell you this, I'm not entirely sure what kind of yeast I should be using. This seemed to have worked however. Into the bowl it went and with the ingredients being dry I mixed them all together. I really should have used water, but I mixed it all up and then I added four ounces of stale beer. I'm not a big beer drinker. I drink one can and every time I attempt to drink the second can, I never finish it. But this time I was determined not to throw it out. I was going to use it to do something. After all, beer costs money. Even cheap beer costs some money. So. Instead of using water, as I said before, I use stale beer, four ounces. So, it's one cup of flour, four ounces of stale, stale beer. You know, I haven't had a drink all day, yet I'm having a tough time saying the word stale beer. All right, there, I said it. So, I mix it all together, and... You have got to use your imagination, you've got to use your own skills and mix it all together and mix it well. First of all, you mix all the dry ingredients together and mix that well. Then the liquid, which you may use water, of course, four ounces of water, and mix that well. Incidentally, whether you're using ice cold water or ice cold beer, the operative thing here is it should be cold, okay? Cold water or cold beer. So, you mix it all well in a bowl, and that's what it looks like. The next evolution, of course, is to put a lid on it and just leave it out overnight. That's right. Put a lid on your bowl and leave it overnight. Just let it sit overnight. Okay? The next morning, whether you use a board or a counter, I happen to use my counter, Put a lot of flour on the counter and on my hands and then I pour out the dough onto the counter. Once that is done of course then I begin to uh, not knead it but sort of fold it over and over and over again. So as you can see it's on my floured counter and I simply fold it over and over and over again. Now remember, flour is on your hand, so you can knead it if you want to, but folding it over and over and over again. And then, once that is done, what you need to do now is to put this into a dish, some sort of dish. Now, I sprayed this dish with vegetable spray, and I placed it in the dish, and once again, cover on the dish and let it sit for two hours. Two hours or more. Just prior to that, of course, I had to be a little creative, so in addition to using the stale beer, I also had to sprinkle some cheese on my dough and folded that in. Once I was done, of course, it's into the bowl and it would sit for the next two hours, which is fine, which is fine. Now, as you're watching this, you may want to think to yourself, wow, I'm going to do a lot better when I make mine. And I think that's a wonderful idea. This was my first attempt, and I just wanted to see what would happen. 
While it was sitting there for two hours, in the interim of course, I got my oven ready. I set the oven to 450 degrees. I wanted to get it nice and hot. Into that oven, by the way, just prior to everything, I placed a bowl in the oven at 450 degrees to get the oven nice and hot, rather to get the bowl nice and hot. And then, at the end of that two hour period, I placed my dough into the bowl, put a lid on it, and put it back in the oven for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. A Dutch oven would have been so much better than a bowl, but I don't have a Dutch oven. Needless to say, it's whatever you're using, it has to be oven safe, right? You don't want to use a plastic bowl and then have it melt in the oven. Okay, having said that, perhaps I should have let it bake for a little longer. Once it was baked for 30 minutes with the lid on, mind you, as I said, a Dutch oven would have been so much better. Then the next thing was to take the lid off Put it back in the oven for an additional five minutes or so and in the end this is what I had. Now the flavor could use some work but the next time I make this trust me it's gonna be so much better. I appreciate your comments and I appreciate your su suggestions so as you watch this and you took notes please share them in the comments section. Until then Bon appétit, and I will see you next time. Do you know what was really fun? Holding this bread in my left hand, and breaking it open with my right hand, and dunking it into my pork and beans. Oh, and I would eat that bread dunk it into my pork and beans and eat that bread. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. I can imagine it would be just as wonderful if I had eaten this bread with some soup.